Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, it's all about twine. So make sure to stay tuned because I am so excited to show you all the twine DIYs I have in store for you. Also, I'm a part of an open playlist, but I will have more information on that later on in the video. So right now, let's just get to those DIYs. For our first project, you can get all of these items at the Dollar Tree. You want uh, any size of twine, you want small balloons, and you want to blow up the balloon to the size of the ball that you are wanting for your decorative bowl or tray or um, just to sit on a tiered tray. So you wind it up uh, with the twine and make it as full as you want and once you get the desired look then just unravel it and now you want to put it into a bowl of glue. I tried this tacky glue, I, Aline's tacky glue from the Dollar Tree, but it was too tacky. <laughs> so I ended up using my wood glue, but um, you'd be better off using the Elmer's glue from Dollar Tree or any other type of school glue that you have. So you want to make sure it's completely saturated and now you want to put it back onto that balloon again and just start winding it around and getting the desired look that you're going for until it's completely full. So now that it is all the way twined around and you want to make sure the knotted part of the balloon is sticking out because you're going to hang it from that. So then tuck in that last piece into the other twine so it stays on really well. So now um, once you have all of that on, you want to take a piece of twine and just tie it, a knot around that knotted part where uh, the balloon is sticking out. And then I just make a, a slip knot and hang it up on a hook somewhere. So now that it's dried, I let it sit overnight. It only takes maybe about a couple hours and then it's pretty good. So you want to take uh, something sharp and pop that balloon. And it's stuck on this one, but sometimes it just will pop and, and release from the inside of the wall of the twine. So I had to push it in a little bit, but it's no big deal. It's just getting it away from the twine. So once I did that, it just pulled right out. So there's your ball. And then I'm just releasing the dried glue. The nice thing about these is that you can make any size, any color, and match it to any of your decor. And here I've done a white one, and now this one is a gray one, and different sizes. You'll see how they turned out in the end of the video. If you haven't noticed yet, this is a great hack, just an old wooden paper towel holder to hold your twine. It works out great. Here's that information on that playlist. It's called Twine It Up Challenge. Hosted by Creations by Fabi and co-host is Simple Yet Chic. Every month, Fabi hosts these challenges and invites a certain co-host each month to join her. And she is so creative, you should check out her channel. She has a ton of beautiful uh, decor items that she creates. And also check out the co-host and she has a ton of cute stuff too. And if you're coming over from the playlist, I welcome you and I hope you enjoy this video. So this next project is a basket uh, made out of twine and I thought this butter bowl would be perfect shape for it. I like the squareness of it. So I am painting it with white Rust-Oleum chalk paint just to cover up the lettering because I didn't want that to show through. So I thought, well, it needs to be a brown so it won't show the white through when I do the twine. So I painted it with some uh, white acrylic paint from, I believe, folk art. Um, and so in hindsight, I would probably just take it out and spray paint it with brown paint. I didn't have that, but I would recommend to do that and it would probably work better. So now I'm just measuring out the twine that I want to use and do it one and a half times so that when you braid it, it will 
be the right size and I had it was the right size it seemed like I had um, about two inches left over but you don't want to do it exactly this the size of the round because then it shrinks up and it's not long enough so now I'm taking two um, strings of the regular twine and one rope uh, type twine that's white and I'm just braiding it down the whole line and then you might want to put it on a counter, tape it to a counter or something heavier. And then I am just um, taping the ends and making sure that it doesn't unravel and measuring to make sure it fit. So now I'm doing another one. I'm just measuring it the same size. I kept one as a template so that I knew exactly what sizes I needed. And here I'm showing you that you can even do this while you're watching TV because you'll probably have to. It's a lot of braiding. <laughs> so now I have all my braids and I am just starting on the very bottom to get the bottom done. And I did it on the outside first of the bottom because the center part seemed more difficult to start in the center workout. And this working from the outer going in towards the center worked out really great. So I'm just hot gluing the edge. You want to cut it off so that all the strands are blunt and the same size of the bottom of your uh, braid when you first put it on so it looks really nice that way. And I did it like on the middle portion and started it that way. And here you can see it's almost finished. And I did these with all with three of the twine regular twine and not the white in them. So there's some that I made um, with just the, the brown twine on these braids so that it would alternate. And then here you just glue, keep gluing a little bit of the ways and go, you know, lay it on and just make sure it's just cohesive all the way around. And then just that final piece there. And it might come undone, so you kind of have to, you know, re-braid things here and there. But there you go. It's all finished on the bottom. It turned out really pretty. So now I'm starting around the edge. And now I'm wondering, um, if I do this again on another one of these, I would definitely trim that lip part of the container off to make it all one, um, I guess, all the same size, you know, instead of having that lip stick out but it still turned out cute. So I'm just going through and gluing just the plain twine all the way around and getting that first layer. And just glue as you go. Don't glue it all the way and then try because it dries too fast. So just glue a little bit as, as you go and then lay it down. And then use a, um, something to press down on it because it's pretty hot and and you have to press all, you know, as you go, you don't want to burn yourself. And that final piece there came undone, so I'm just making sure it's braided again. And then you trim that part off so it's even with the next one, so it connects and flows really nice. And there's that. So then what I did prior to this, see how I laid them all out, I kind of wanted to do a certain pattern and so I kind of put it on the container to see what pattern I wanted and then sat them all out that way so that they were ready to go and that was the way I would put them on. So now this is the white cord in the middle with the twine around the edge and then after this, I did two of the regular twine, plain color, and then one of with the white, and then two of the plain, one with the white, and that's my sequence of how I did it. And that's what's fun about this. You could do whatever design you want. You can have it all the same color. You can put some different color twine other than white in there, but I thought this turned out really cute. And here's the last few rows here. Just 
getting that bottom one on with the white. And then it should be done on there. Oh, and then that last piece to connect the two together was just a plain strand as well. And that made it a little bit more rounded on the bottom and covered all the edge and made it a finished piece. A little bit about my channel. I do a lot of thrift store items turned into country and farmhouse decor for your home as well as a few Dollar Tree crafts here and there. So if you enjoy this video I hope you will subscribe and like my video. Please also comment below on which item you like the best and that all helps my channel out so much. I appreciate you. Thank you and now let's get back to the video. So now I'm just cutting a piece of burlap so that it will fit like a liner inside of the uh, tub, <laughs> the basket, and um, just measuring it so that I can cut it. And once I have it cut the uh, length I need, I'm just making sure that it's going to fit exact and I want it to kind of overlap from one end to the other so it closes it in. So here I'm just kind of filling it out, measuring, making sure it fits right. And then now I'm measuring a piece for the bottom part so that I can glue in there to give it a finished touch. So here I'm just gluing it end to end so once I put it in there it will fit. And sorry it's a little off the camera there, but I'm just measuring where to cut each corner so I can fold it inside and make it like flat on the bottom. So now I fixed it and now I'm just um, gluing that final piece inside so that it looks finished. And here I'm just tucking in and gluing it to each side. So the frayed edges are inside towards the plastic tub. And doing it all the way around so it looks tucked in. See? It's all pretty. So I'm taking another just plain color um, braid of twine and just finishing it off around the edge. I actually use two. One on the very outside edge and then one to cover up the seam where I uh, tucked the burlap in. And there it is. Oh, see, this is where <laughs> the seam is, sorry. <laughs> and just covering up the gap there between the burlap and the tub where the other twine braid ends. So now I took and forgot that after I glued it all down, you need to have little pockets for the handles. So I kind of pulled that away and gave little pockets. And then I took the white strand um, braids and took three of them and braided them together to make the handle so it was thicker. And so I'm just gluing those into those little pockets that I made. And now I'm putting on the final uh, trim after those handles are put in. And it gives it a finished touch. It's so cute. Wait till you see the end. So 
for this project, it is creating a bowl out of the twine. And so I just kind of scalloped it around to make loops for to make it look decorative on the top. And then I'm just taking the twine and wrapping it around um, and kind of, you know, doing little designs on it so it makes it look decorative. And this is also put into the glue just like the twine balls so that it'll all dry. And once you get all of that, you let it sit overnight um, and then it becomes a bowl. And you'll see how great it turned out at the end of the video. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and share my video. That helps my channel out a lot. And don't forget to check out that playlist down below to see what all the other creators have in store for you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you and have a great day.